Hey y'all, we are uh, getting ready to go check some fence. We had a really ton of rain last night and a lot of wind, a lot of wind just a few minutes ago, um, some flooding. So our fence is hitting at like 1.6, 1.8. So we need to go check. I have a feeling that the fence I had uh, where we moved the cows the other day up on top of the ridge into the woods, it goes down into the holler and crosses a creek. And I have a feeling that that creek got up and washed out our fence, which yesterday evening we moved the cows back to this side of the fence so they wouldn't be uh, over there because I knew it was going to be bad weather. So we're going to see. We'll go up there and check that out. Um, it's very windy still, so I'm not sure that we'll be able to video or have usable footage, but we're going to try. Alright y'all, so we've got our new flock down here, we're getting ready to release them today and I got to thinking, I don't have any uh, little walkway for them, but if y'all know me, I hate throwing stuff away and I remembered that I saved the steps off of the uh, double wide that they took out last year, it's perfect, <laughs> they even have a handrail, so. Is it? Yep. I see it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too soon to let them out. They've been in here for two nights. There's not really anywhere else around here for them to roost. So uh, we'll see what they think. They think they don't want to get out. Yeah, they're not real <laughs> sure about this whole deal yet. Look, it's that crazy-eyed chicken. Yep. <laughs> well, there they are, starting to venture out. Do a little bit of scratching. Let's see. Those are gonna come out probably. They'll come out in a little while. We'll see how many are out when we get back from checking our fence. All right, y'all. Hopefully you can hear me with this wind. We're getting ready to walk down the ridge down here. Um, we're up here where we were yesterday. Well, day before yesterday, I'm sorry. Uh, putting up fence and uh, in the woods. So we're going to walk down here and check in the creek and see if our fence is down after the flooding we had last night. Um, I have a feeling that it is. Right, keep your eyes out for morels, Jack. It's a good day for them. Warm and wet. Warm and wet, yep. 
Jeremiah found a couple last time we came down here when we were running the fence. We weren't even looking for them. It was in the late evening. And uh, we found probably 35 or 40 or something like that this year, I think. But uh, isn't that right, Jack? 40 or 50. Well, Jack says 40 or 50. Yeah, so yeah, so 40 or 50 morel mushrooms, and uh, but Jack actually found two nice size ones. We were doing a yard the other day, and they were in the people's backyard. Right there's one. Hold up, I almost stepped on it. Let's see if I can find it on the screen. Let's see it. Right there. So. A little morel mushroom. You can put it in my pocket. Yep, put it in the pocket. Uh, wow, we're not on a mushroom hunt today. We're trying to fix fence. <laughs> it's really tempting to stop and hunt mushrooms, but um, wow, we'll just walk on down through here, Jack, and see what we can uh, find out about the fence and keep our eyes peeled for morels. But um, maybe the wind will die down enough where I feel safe actually going in the woods to hunt mushrooms today. Uh, as bad as windy as it's been I don't really like getting in the woods because of the risk of it just blowing limbs out on you and stuff like that it doesn't take much of a tree limb to hit you on the head or hit you anywhere and cause major damage break your neck knock you out you know just it wouldn't take a whole lot so I just uh, don't like being in the woods a whole lot when it's windy like this there's one spot, Jack. Grab that piece. Yes, sir. That's not, I'm sure that's not what's grounding it out. Not with that charger. But it does, it's unhooked, so you can go ahead and grab the wire. Ah. What happened? It's got burrs in it. Oh, does it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> grab my arm. Okay. Down here in this bottom, I think, is where the main issue is going to lie. I can't believe I found that little mushroom just not even... I mean, I'm not even looking for it. I'm just looking down, watching where I step. Maybe this wind will die down and we can actually go mushroom hunting today. Because they are delicious. I'm pretty sure our fence is washed out. This creek, the other day, we walked through it with low boots on and didn't even get our feet wet today that is not going to be the case let's see here actually our fence is not in the creek our fence is good jack huh i know so what's the deal why was our fence grounding out so bad right now Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely legit right there. You found another one? Yeah. Okay, I see there's another one right under your hand behind that one. Look, let's look at the show of them. It's under this. It's right here. See? Oh, I see it. Yep. And there's one right here. Grab These that are the one. Light colored ones. Yep. Man, we've got to come mushroom hunting today somehow. <laughs> we got three. Three, and we're not even looking for them. I just look down and I can see them. Yep. Yeah. Zoom in. There you go. Clear it up on them. So there they are. Three morel mushrooms. And the quest continues. I mean, it could be where everything is wet that our fence is grounding out because there are some questionable places, but usually it just shocks through it because it's a pretty high powered fence charger. Um, and it's not grounded it's still at like one about one and a half thousand volts which definitely is not comfortable but I see another one Jack I think either that or a walnut right one. yeah what I was looking at was a walnut look right here is a little bitty one point at it right there yep a little tiny one right there man we've got to come find these things okay we haven't found very many over here and no, we're finding just a few. Yep. 
All these morels around here seem to be tiny little morels. I don't understand that. I don't ever remember finding little such little ones. Of course, I was a little kid the last time I hunted them until this year. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to do some morel mushroom hunting either today or tomorrow. Because they are out. I hate to do it. Wait till tomorrow because the ones for the day will be gone. Today and tomorrow. Yep. Might do both days. So. Yep, we're going to have to gather up dualies because they have the eyes for them and go morale hunting. Oh, here's one. Yep, Jack's found another one. That, like, something made to talk off of it. Yeah, probably a deer or a turkey. A squirrel, maybe, even. Rabbits are in here, too. Yep, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what all eats morale mushrooms, but... They're good enough for anything to eat. Yep. Okay, well, we're going to go. We're going to, uh... We got some stuff in the barn to do. The wind advisory is only until 4 p.m. today, so maybe it'll slow down by then and then we can go feel safer going hunting morel mushrooms. That's what we're gonna plan on. But here's our fence where we got it crossing the creek. As you can see, see all the brush. It kind of goes that way, over across, up, and then ties into the neighbor's fence over there on the other side of that little grassy patch. This creek is rolling. So we have six chickens out, or I guess five hens and a rooster, it looks like. Mate, maybe there's seven hens, six hens and a rooster. What is it, Jack? Six hens and a rooster. Six hens and a rooster. So we've still got six hens in the coop, and they'll eventually work their way out, but um, it's just a. Uh, all new to them. I don't think these chickens have ever free ranged. Uh, they have scratched. They've been. They had a run, but I don't think they've ever been out like free ranging. So I uh, hear somebody up there yelling. <laughs> One of the kids is up on the hill yelling at us. So anyway, we're gonna go work on some other stuff. Right